Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can connect to your AWS EC2 instance from VS Code. Basically, we connect to our EC2 instance from VS Code so that we can um, use VS Code for editing code, so which is much more uh, easier and flexible than we can what we can do on the EC2 instance directly. All right, so now we can begin connecting our VS Code with our instance. So I have an instance running here. This is named my web server. And now, first of all, we can head up to VS Code and now we can create. Uh, now we need to first of all install some extensions for this. All right, so now we can install some extensions in our VS Code. These are named as remote SSH. So basically, remote SSH is an extension which we need to download right here. One more thing you can download is remote SSH editing configuration files for easy, easy editing of the files inside our instance. Also, we can uh, install remote development. This is the whole pack, which includes four uh, extensions. So if you just download this, you will be ready to go. So I will recommend you download the remote development uh, pack right here. It, it contains four. Uh, extensions so those will be downloaded and you will be ready to connect to the ec2 instance with uh, our vs code all right perfect so after you install this extension there will be an icon right here which says remote explorer inside your vs code sidebar so you go to uh, this section now we can uh, see there will be an ssh folder folder here now we can add our ssh connection right here to add an ssh connection we first I uh, need to click on plus and then we can write a command with SSH and then the name of your EC2 instance, basically the username, which is inside inside that virtual machine. So I'll uh, name it as Ubuntu and then we can uh, write at, then I can write the public IP for that instance. So I'll just see what's that. I think it is uh, this address and now I'll copy this address and now I'll paste it here now i can just type in hyphen a to attach it to our remote server all right so you can see we have got a pop-up here which is who started now i need to open the configuration file so we can add the key for this as a ssh server so we have the configuration written right here for our server these are just the configuration for the my other servers but this is the server for our main uh, this is the configuration for our main AWS EC2 instance. So, all right, so now we can pass in another parameter, which is identity file. Now I can pass the path of our file key. It is the key of our SSH uh, client of our EC2 instance. So, how we can create this key is by going inside this instance first of all. Now I can uh, scroll down to the details. So, I'll, I'll just make it bigger now if i go down to the key pair assigned at launch if there's no key pair for you you can go inside this and click on create key pair and after click uh entering the name and now uh, you can put any kind of name here now it's like the pem format just dot pem and now when you click on create key pair it will prompt you to download a key and just download it safely and keep it uh accessible for you all right so now after we have installed the keys to connect to this instance through ssh so my current key is present right here the key instance.pem so we need to first of all copy the path of this file and now we can paste it in our config file for ssh all right so i'll just remove the double quotes and now we are ready so if I try to connect this, uh, this should possibly give me an error that there are too many permissions allowed and I'll explain how to fix that. So it, it is just asking me uh, what device it is. So it is originally Ubuntu, so that's a, that's a Linux device. And yeah, I'm sure that I'm gonna continue. Now it's gonna say an error that permission denied public key. So if you also get this error, which is a very common error while connecting uh, to SSH, so, can do what first of all this error means that your key has been given more permissions than it is required 
so basically there might be some other users in your system that uh, might have access to your key so we need to remove those accesses in your inside a key so how we can remove is first of all go to the properties now you can head up to security so as you can see i have four users here i need to remove all the users except my current user which is this user right now so i have to remove all of these three users above that and how, how I'm going to remove this is I'll disable the instance and then I can remove all the users one by one. All right, perfect. And now I can apply the changes and just save it. Perfect. And now if I try to connect it, let's go again in the remote explorer. And now I can, and now I can, if I click on this button, which is connecting current window, this should now able to, uh, this should now be able to connect to the AWS EC2 instance. So perfect. As you can see, we have got a message here which is which says download VS Code server. So we have connected to our uh, instance through VS Code right here. If I click on open folder, it will just open the root folder. So I'll just I'll just open the folder here. And yes, I trust the author. And you can see I have got the whole directory of my uh, remote instance right here. I had created main.py. In the tutorial where I showed how you can create an EC2 instance. So this is that main.py file which is present in my uh, EC2 instance. So perfect. So we have connected to EC2 instance using VS Code. And now I can, if I launch terminal, I can again see this is the same uh, command line which we had got when we connected to the instance using SSH in our browser itself. So perfect. Um, we can see we have connected to uh, easy to using the uh, VS Code by using remote server and remote explorer extensions. Perfect. So that's it for the video. And also one more thing that this uh, method works with any kind of instance, whether it's a Google Cloud virtual machine or if Azure virtual machines, it is going to work with both of them. Actually, with every kind of virtual machine, it will work. So yeah, guess okay, so that's it for the video. And guys, thanks for watching.